To this day, abortion remains a very controversial topic. Even more so, the contraceptives that prevent pregnancy have been pushed to the forefront of the state and national stage. Planned Parenthood does not actually conduct abortions, but they do support them and provide free women's health exams, tests, and yes, contraceptives. This morning, Patricio Gonzalez with Planned Parenthood joins us to discuss these issues. Thank you so much for being here this You're morning. You're welcome. So let's go ahead and get to the issue of Roe versus Wade, you know, how have abortions really changed the landscape for women's health issues in the modern time frame? Well, uh, today abortions are legal and they should be safe, and that's what Roe versus Wade says that a woman has the right in consultation with her doctor, her family, and her provider and her God to make that decision if and when she needs one. Of course, there are critics um, that oppose this. There are also people that are for this. As you heard, the Gallup poll mm -hmm. says that 77% of Americans nowadays think, yeah, there should, it's a woman's right to choose. But in, with that said, Planned Parenthood provides contraceptives as well. On your side, mm -hmm. Texas state lawmakers have actually cut funding to Planned Parenthood by cutting funding directly to the state program that gives you guys the funding. How much has been cut for you guys? Back in 2011, uh, approximately $3.1 million was taken away from us uh, by the state legislature by cutting the state program. And now that the courts have ruled that we cannot participate in the Texas Women's Health Program, we're gonna lose another 1.4 million. So it's a total of 4.5 million in the last two years. And how has this really affected Valley residents in particular? Oh, it's, it's been a big impact because we served almost 23,000 women, men, and minors. And out of those 23,000, um, almost 90% of them are be live below poverty level. So we're reaching the poorest of the poor, the uninsured, which is like it's 30 to 40 percent in the valley of uninsured. So it really has affected mm -hmm. many of the women we serve because now they don't have a provider, they don't have access to health care, and they can't find a provider that can take over all these numbers of women. That really affects women, especially that lie somewhere in the middle, because women that can that have Medicaid that qualify for that can go to a provider. Women that have insurance clearly can as well, but it's that woman in the middle that it's doesn't have the insurance. The woman in the, the middle. Insurance. It's the women that don't have the insurance, that are living from paycheck to paycheck, that are poor, and that are working poor as well. So they're the ones that are very much affected by this whole situation. One of the common misconceptions is that all Planned Parenthoods actually provide abortions, but that's not the case. They actually just uh, back the women that do have the right to get it. Yes, we, in, in the Valley, we don't provide abortion services, but nationally, only three to 5% of our services is on abortion. The other 95% is on wellness exams, life-saving cancer screening, birth control, testing for STIs and treatments, and for HIV, and for other ailments as well. So that's the primary thing that you're trying to do, get care to women that need it in terms of the yearly exams. Preventive. It's all preventive care for women because if they are they are healthy, their families will be healthy. Well, we want to thank you for coming on this morning and discussing these particular subjects with us. You can find this interview and all of our other interviews over at valleycentral.com. Hannah?